Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the sum of the enhancement in files class. So here I have attached the source code, JDK source code. And if we look into this class, uh, name is called files. And this class was introduced in JDK 1.7. So there were some methods added in JDK 1.8. So first of all, uh, we are going to discuss about the method is called list. So it's a static method and this is since uh, Java 1.8. So in this video tutorial, we'll explore how we can make use of uh, this list method basically. So list method basically takes an argument as a path and which returns you the stream of path. So as you can see this method returns a stream of paths. So we can apply some kind of I mean lambda expression right and uh, a stream is basically that is that improves the I mean uh, performance of this API. So let's uh, try to make use of this method. So files dot uh, fi uh, uh, list method is a static. So directly you can call by files dot list, and which takes a, a path and argument, and that returns a largely populated stream, the elements of which are the entries in the directory. So first of all, I'm going to show you in this example. Uh, we will learn how to use Java 8 API files dot list. Uh, here we are going to list all the files and sub directory using files dot list. So let's use this API files dot list. And here we have a class is called paths. As a method is called get to sticks URI, right? So here basically we want to uh, list out uh, list out all the files and sub directory uh, in the current directory itself right so that's why i have given the dot means current directory and this method throws some exception so let's wrap inside the try catch and if you look into the return type of this method this method returns your list right now we can apply for each loop on it so let's go to for each and let's system dot out column print ln so it's a method reference right so basically saying that if you put cursor here saying that resource link list is never closed so let's de declare this variable outside of try block and declaration I have given the try block and let's create a finally block for this and here we'll have to check if list not equal to null then close this resource so, okay so i have closed if i run this program then look at the output so output what we are getting dot class path dot project dot <coughs> we have a bean and src so if you look into the current directory so basically that is that nothing but the project directory itself if you uh, go to the this current directory project itself and you can see what are the files and directory are there so this is saying bean src dot class path and dot project so that's why we are getting this output so you hope you understood use case of this method is pretty straightforward now Now again second use case. So let's what I'll do again files dot uh, list and we have paths dot get and here at this time I'm going to specify entire complete I mean absolute path of Edit directory. So here I'm going to take this directory. 
so this is a tomcat directory so i'm going to specify this directory over here so here a single backslash uh, alphabet represents the escape character in java so you will have to give the two i mean backslash and if you look into the return type this is returning list two so again you need to declare list two outside of the try block so let's declare it and here as we have declared outside of try block so only instantiation will be here and again you can do like this okay list two now <coughs> If I run it, then look at the output. So this is uh, showing you the all the directories, subdirectory present in the this folder, right? So that is showing all the directory and subdirectory files in this list. But uh, here, this uh, basically this returns the stream of paths. So he, here you have opportunity to use some kind of filter filter as well so let's apply a filter filter and this text predicate right so here we have a method is called files and colon i would say is regular file this method you can apply and directly you can do the for each of it okay filter first dot this So we have given a files dot list. Uh, okay, return type. This will not give you the return type like list, right? So that's all. And you will have to close this stream as well in the finally block. So here you can check if this not equal to null, then you can close it, right? So uh, I would say list two dot close and if i run it then you'll get only files because we are applying is regular files so this will give you the uh, earlier this was giving the all directory name as well right so here now this will filter only files name right if you your api editor system then you can apply some kind of files so this is returning four files right so if you go to this directory i mean tomcat directory then there is only these four files are present over here so and this api returns a stream right so of course i mean performance of this api would be very faster so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i am going to specify in the video description itself so if you like this video then please subscribe my youtube channel so that you'll get intimation about my new video uploads and thanks for watching this video and see you next video video with some new updates in java 8